And we're gonna get Kaiser in the game number one, playing as the Hodenoshoni, Hudnase. And I am Turk, playing as the Japanese civilization in the color red. Let's go. Game number one in this series. Round of 16, obviously. Hopefully we can get an admin changing the title of the stream, because it's a bit misleading. Yay, my scoreboard overlay. Yeah, I just had time to set it up. Hopefully it works properly. So yeah, I'm starting with the Consulate as the Japanese civilization, whereas Kaiser seems to be going for a dark start. Gonna pick up two yaks on the side as well. Pretty good start so far. He's gonna pick himself four yaks. Thanks, Mini4. Can you check this in cough and FPS set to 144? Sure. Yeah, VSync is off. Apply back. Is the stream looking looking wrong or something? But yeah, dog gonna be placed. Uh, thank you, DE. Like, the, how I just doesn't want to be on the dock for whatever reason. But yeah, a bit of scouting for both players. Uh, we're assigned to so far. Picking up 65 coin. Not a bad start at all. A nice 80 wood treasure, I assume. Yeah. It's all good now. Lovely. Nice to hear it. Yeah, Portuguese consulate going up for I am Turk. Um, might indicate a greedy, greedy start. That looks like Egyptian flag, does it? Man. Yeah, uh, late trying for I'm Turk gonna idle just a little bit, check his deck. Three boats, two tunes as well in each uh, in each two. So yeah, gonna start with three boats. Interesting choice. Um, gonna work on the Sadie with treasure. Where's Keister? Keister is nowhere any close to contest the treasure, unfortunately for him. Best caster hype. Thank you very much, but uh, don't tell Drongo. He's gonna be jealous. I am luck. But yeah, dog start for Hodinoshoni, pretty pretty standard on this map and quite quite meta as well. Uh, gonna train three boats and a fourth one. <laughs> you nervous cowboy. <laughs> Typical uh, uh, Keister things to say. Uh, Keister, if you paid attention, he's gonna spot the three boats though. And that could be actually uh, massive and also if if Geister didn't pay attention you can just check I am Turk's deck and be like 95% sure that I am Turk went for three boats um, so yeah I'd love to see a canoe being trained at some point in H2 from from Geister to just kill these uh, these few boats Geister gonna crack shot one of these uh, these tigers I'm Turk working on a nice uh, 45 coin treasure and with the Portuguese Consulate, he's going to be able to, to age with the Toshigo Shrine. Got himself a few yaks as well, five of them. Uh, I am sure didn't spot the treasure just yet, but with the TP socket, he can see the, the tiger, which is a bit of a weird bug. I think like you shouldn't be able to, to see that. Oh, Hype Train! Terra saying shipping three votes versus Hodino Shoni on Mesure are not a good idea. I have to agree. Um, unless we're gonna see something like two funes first for the Japanese uh, player, then yeah, I assume Kaiser should make uh, at least a few canoes to deal with that. I'm just saying he was looking for the wood. 
the treasure stealer himself. Training post is going to go up for the Hoots player. Uh, Sierra leaks the cat. He's going to be a bit low HP after that, so he has to be careful. Uh, he's getting close to a job, but you never know. The, this is the Japanese monk. Uh, this hero could be in big trouble. I'm just going to start to shrine the map. He's taking a lot of wood, actually. Uh, following his hero, but he actually needs to spend his wood somehow. We'll see if he drops a dock or an early military building. It looks like he's just gonna drop a shrine for now. Let's have a look on Keister's point of view. Where's Keister doing a market? A tribal marketplace as well. The canoe being trained instantly and Wahad going in base. Okay. Um. So yeah, I like this uh, adaptation. I mean, Kenu is basically gonna kill three boats if I'm uh, Turk doesn't do anything about it. So yeah, these boats won't have time to pay off. Uh, they gathered like, um, yeah, 250 food so far. But uh, eventually they, they should go down. Kester is just patrolling to find these boats, but I'm not gonna find him so far. Five villagers, a lot of yellows on coin, and uh, 800 resources crates being shipped as well. Finally finding these uh, these finishing boats. I'm Turk on the other hand. A small wood segment, gonna drop a market, gonna drop a barracks as well, and ship 600 wood. So pretty standard opening for the Japanese player. Let's see what he decides to train that. Looks like uh, he's macroing for Yumi Orchards. I'm Turk is gonna spot the Wahat under Keister TC. Hi. Hmm? Trying to split his uh, his boats, trying to get like at least one to survive. Gonna be a bit hard. Keister, can I go for a fast vultures? Train some INS as well. Kaiser didn't scout the Japanese player at all, so he doesn't know. Maybe Japan could be going for a Tori Gate Builder right now. So he has to be concerned, and that's why he's queuing, queuing units, just in case. Mturk, making a few Ashigarus. Second boat is gonna go down, there's only one left. Yeah, this shipment didn't pay off at all, and it's... Yeah, it just they just get like 300 food total, maybe. It's still the coin crate on the floor. Um, I wonder if I took didn't pick that up intentionally. But yes, yeah, some Ashgaru is being trained. Uh, looking to do some poking action under Horinoshoni stun center. Um, I'm took floating a lot of food. He's dropping shrines at the same time. Get that Japanese eco rolling. And Kaiser is already halfway up to the Fortress Age, uh, 650. It's gonna be up at like 7, seven minutes, 710, which is a really, really quick fortress, fortress time with 31 wheels in the back of it. So yeah, definitely better than what we used to see on the on the Isak patch. Uh, Hadi no Shoni being basically the same, the same Steve, but uh, with just more economic option. Oh, big crack shot coming from the Hoots player uh, that can definitely solo these three Ashigaru Musketeers. Very six attack, totally balanced. Uh, but yeah, more boats being trained, six Kanye being shipped, four Esparos being trained for the Hoots player, and I am Turk is looking for an H up, 600 coin uh, being shipped. He didn't train any more Ashigaru's behind that. Let's have a quick look on his market upgrades. He's got both the food upgrades and he's got the first the first coin upgrade. Horigi's crossbow is being trained as well from the consulate. Coin being gathered. So yeah, Giovanni is gonna follow up the Hoots player. The Hood player, yeah. <laughs> it's just a uh, Hood and Oshoni is uh, Bit of a long word to pronounce constantly, so. Uh, but yeah, quick push coming from from Kaiser, uh, probably identifying that that Japan could be 
could be aging right now. And uh, six Elite Kanye, they have been upgraded and, and five Frost Brothers is being trained, still with Ash Garrows. Tansender firing on, on Lix the Cat. Um, I believe Lix the Cat is gonna die, but the Wonder being spotted now. So Kaiser should know should know what's up. He's gonna target the Vils and uh, start sniping Ash Garrows with the Forest Brothers. Ashi in midi, trying to get some value on the Kanye. Three villagers going down so far. And the crossbow is being close contact with the Kanye, midi, and Forest Brothers making good damage to the Ashigaru Musketeers. Um, but eventually, maybe I'm sure could be able to repel that push. More reinforcements coming in from the Rudinoshoni player. More Forest Brothers, two Kanye being trained. Five Kanye being shipped as well, and more in queue. So guys are trying to put a lot of pressure on. Let's have a look on uh, on I am Turks. He's queuing Hashgaru's musketeers right now. He's a bit short on coin in here. Didn't call Milkman either. One more villager gonna go down probably. Yeah, one more villager gonna go down. Another one as well. It's a total. That's probably five or six villager going down for for Japan already. Another one as well, and this is looking really good for. Horinoshoni in Japan is halfway up the fortress, but uh, yeah, it's gonna be a long time before before you can get to the fortress age and and get these uh, these six Yumi's age up and probably send a military shipment as well. Uh, the monk gonna go down as well. More reinforcements, more Kanye, more forest brothers, and yeah, Kaiser just staying under under Japanese DC, just preventing Japan from gathering any resources. We see this entire Japan eco is. Uh, is idle. Um, sending five Ashigarus. Uh, a bit late, I think they're gonna arrive after the Yumi Archer, and, uh, and you want to time these five Ashigaru shipment with your Yumi Archer up. Um, so they synergize quite well. Is TC firing the first problem stuff? Minutemen being called. Yumi Archer is popping. Kaiser though, he's got a lot of Kanye, uh, he should be able to deal with that. Uh, it seems there's a lot of pathing issues on the bottom of the Japanese base. Uh, so yeah, Kanye in contact with the Ashigaru Musketeers. Monk gonna go down. Oh, five Ashi didn't get cancelled, so they're gonna pop. And uh, and yeah, do some good damage on the Kanye actually. Uh, Kaiser having some trouble controlling his units. But Yumi Archie is gonna die. Uh, and yeah, Kaiser has to pull back a little bit. He doesn't have any more first problems to, to kill these uh, Ashigaru's Musketeers. Uh, but still, Kaiser in a really solid position. He did a lot of damage. He killed a lot of Vils. He idled the Japanese base for a solid two minutes now. More first problems now. And Japan is gonna get a second shipment back to back just because of the XP he got from fighting. Let's have a quick look on, uh, on Kaiser's POV now. 38 villagers. Reviving the big boy on the fire pits on the community plaza. More Ashigaru is being trained. Training some musket riders as well. Ooh, 8 Ashi popping in melee with the first brothers. And Kaiser has to be really careful there. Disciplined Ashigaru as well. Can he have to fight and snare the Ashigaru so the first brothers can get away? But overall, it was probably a pretty nice trade for for I am Turk. More reinforcements though from the Hoots player. Send him to the range. <laughs> Marshy Garu's being trained. Stable gonna go up as well in the back of I am Turk space, but. Uh, yeah, that's a heap of shrine though, so I'm Chuck has been doing a good job at shrining the map while being under pressure. But uh Kaiser 39 villagers right now, uh researching lumber ceremony, gonna boost his villager wood gathering rate. And uh, and yeah, Kaiser with probably the superior economy right now. And yeah, as as Japan if you're behind in eco versus Hoods, then you're gonna be in trouble. Actually, Garu Raid though. Gonna try to patrol 
and uh, get some village kill. There's one wheel here, probably gonna go down. Yeah, it's gonna go down for sure. Benke, gonna go down again. Yeah, I'm just trying to, to buy time uh, and, and get some raid to get back into this game. The wheels in the community flat set though, they're gonna get uh, harassed, one gonna go down. There's some price brothers and musket fighters chasing the chasing the Ashi arrows though. Two flaming arrows being shipped. So yeah, Heimchuk needs to bring these Ashes back under Eastern Center, so he's he's making sure he's got enough Ashi arrows to body block and uh, and make good usage of his uh, flaming arrows. Yeah, more Ashikaru is being trained. Let's have a quick look on uh, on Kaiser's POV. 39 wheels. Oh, and he's gonna catch these uh, these Ashigarus. Uh, they're gonna try to trade and kill a few musket riders, but uh, yeah, these guys with 30% range resist, they're just gonna tank forever. Price Paul is gonna kill the remaining Ashigaru. And yeah, Kaiser got another another ship ready. He could go. Um, Infantry combat here, or just gonna go for crates and my small units. Get these, uh, get that Hodenoshoni army rolling. I'm took two flaming arrows, starting to mix some Naginata riders as well. And more Ashikaru's being, being shipped, so. I'm took. It was looking quite, uh, quite tough at some point, and now he's kind of back into this game, managed to stabilize. But still, um, still feel like Hodino Shoni army is uh, is stronger. Um, Kaiser is gonna pick 150 coin as well. Great's gonna get on the floor. Gonna drop more houses. I'd love to see Kaiser uh, send training a few more fishing boats. He's got uncontested water so far, so. Why not make use of it? Uh, maybe a war canoe to deal with these shrines. I don't know if the investment would be good though. Kaiser is gonna try to get some information poking with these skirmisher. He's gonna see the two flaming arrows. Gonna get some damage on them. Uh, I'm took a kind of sight, so nice blade from from I'm to gonna kill two forest arrows and put more of them on low HP. But yeah, guys are just sitting shrines for now. Um, he's got a lot of units in queue due to the, the crates he just sent, so... I think... Oh, five kills, okay. I felt like it was time for a unit upgrade, but uh, sending five renegade French is also a good decision for sure. Yeah, I'm to training more Ashigaru, training some Naginata riders as well. Managed to upgrade them. But uh, he's losing shrines, uh, 42 HP on this one. Uh, guys are backing off. Cavalry HP. That's a um, curious shipment. He's gonna get a batch of 5 Nagido, a good macro from I'm Turk, but. Uh... Yeah, Nagi HP, making these Nagis pretty damn tanky. Kais on the other hand, waiting for his five Renegade French. Mini is saying this is old AoE, have to agree, this is not new. This is not new AoE. I don't think this is over yet, I don't think it's over either, it's gonna depend on how the next fight goes. Uh, I think Kaiser is quite far ahead um, so far, 46 villages versus 33 for Japan players. But um, still, it's gonna be hard to deal with these flaming arrows under under I am Turks TC with a lot of buildings and, and views to block, even a wall um, wall segment. Two orchards being shipped though, so it's gonna be and no Nagi HP. So I am Turk cancelled the the Nagi HP to send to Cherry Orchard instead. And uh, well, of course Japan needs these orchards, but uh, he also needs to. 
like take his units to compete with the Hodin Oshani's units being so much stronger. So yeah, more shrines being sieged. Uh, Kaiser trying to force I am Turk to get out of his base, really. So these shrines are gonna go down. Um, Kaiser sending infantry combat in the back of it as well. He's got the community plots already. He could quickly switch uh, 15 VS to to the wardens if he needs to. Can I go for some poking action and uh, and send his cabin perhaps? We'll see how that goes. Two flaming arrows in a good position, but uh, for his brothers with infantry combat, they can just make quick, uh, yeah, they quickly deal with that. And he's gonna split fire as well and kill both of them. One's still alive, but not for long. Ashigaru is going forward. And Geister is gonna decide it's go time. I'm gonna switch to Wardens as well. As we can see on the UI. Sending the musket riders in. Connecting with the, the Kani and the and the Krios. Forest Brothers in the back showing some good DPS. Ashigaru's in melee though. Gonna do a lot of damage to this, to this Kani, but look at that. 40 attack on the Kani with the Wardens. 26 for the Forest Brothers. 29 for the musket riders and uh, and yeah, this is just gonna be a really good fight for Hodin Oshoni. He lost most of his cav, but his skirm mass and his gun mass is still still really strong in the back of that. He's got reinforcements on the way as well. Village is being pulled by Iron Turk, but uh, yeah, the Japanese army is just gonna melt. And uh, yeah, this is looking really, really good for Kaisen now. What does Iron Turk have on the way? He's got more nag nagis uh, from a shipment. He's got more nagis in queue, some Ashigarus as well, but uh, not sure if he's, this is going to be quite enough to to deal with the Hodenoshoni army. This barracks low HP as well. Um, could just siege that, I guess, for Kaiser. Can kill more villages as well. Oh, nice Nagi pop though, on top of the Price Brothers. Some Ashes as well, but. Uh, you are not gonna do much, there's only four of them now. <laughs> All these uh, forest brothers going down, there was like seven or eight of them, but... Uh... Nagi speed with Sig, yeah, I have to agree. Really good uh, speed from I'm Turk. Mr. Mechanics strikes again, but now the entire uh, Japanese eco is, is idle and he's gonna get a batch of four Ashkarus, but uh, there's no really follow-up to that and... Uh... Yeah, looking quite tough. More villages are gonna go down. More ash is popping, but... But the new Shoni warship is gonna go down, but uh, Kaiser is just gonna immediately dance it back and... Uh... And yeah, Kaiser on the back with 52 beers. Have a really solid eco. Straining fishing boats as well. And the stun center is just gonna go down. A bit of field punching, but one more is gonna go down. The musket rider gonna go down as well, but... More crossbows. Oh, I am took never got Japanese consulate, actually. Which is a massive mistake. But yeah, these crossbows are gonna die, the Ashigarus are gonna die, and uh, and next this stun center is gonna go down, and... Uh, just looking looking quite tough for Japanese player. More Ash is popping, immediately gonna die to the forest brothers. Yeah, I agree. This is uh, basically turning at this point if we look at the score. And uh, and Japan got nothing really. He's got more Nagis on the way, but. Five Nagis are not gonna cut with this uh, Hood's army. So I'm gonna speed that up. Oh, never mind. I'm turning the GG. And uh, yeah, really good game one. Kaiser taking the lead in this uh, in this series. Can I quickly fix the score? Thanks for the overlay, by the way. Uh, pretty smooth and uh, and practical to use. Yeah, let's have a quick look on the on the post game stats. Um, yeah, like I was mentioning. Uh, Hodino Shoni putting a lot of pressure early three on the Japanese base and, and yeah, was gathering as well, sending the crates to supplement his, his army and uh, 
I don't know, I just felt like these the three boats shipment from, from I am Turk was just a massive waste because they got killed like one minute later. And and yeah, Japan going for quite the greedy build, six hundred with Fulvia, six hundred coins versus uh Hodino Shoni naked FF and uh, yeah, Poots just putting a lot of pressure on. And Japan was never really able to stabilize, losing a lot of VLs while beating the wonder as well then. These all these things just snowballed quite hard. Is this no overlay program? I think it is. But anyway, that was game number one. Uh apologize in advance. I'm gonna quickly go to the bathroom and I'll be right back in a minute. All right, guys, I'm back. Sorry for this uh, interruption. And we're back for game number two. Yes, uh, P break is over, Austed. Thanks for asking and caring. And we're ready to go into this game number two between Kaiser and I am Turk, round of 16 of this global championship. And we've got Kaiser playing as Sweden versus I am Turk playing as Germany on Colorado. So let's see how that goes. I feel like Sweden is a really good pick versus Germans. So they can do anything and, uh, and this kind of uh, eco CV is pretty good versus Germans overall. If you can't beat them, join them. Exactly, Feeds Pro. Interesting, Sweden is going to start with the training post. I'm still going for the market. Yeah, uh, it's with Kaiser picking Sweden first and, uh, and Turk picking Germany into Sweden. Uh, curious choice. Getting it to a nice 95 wood though. If you can make quickly work on that. Let's, um, oh, I wanted to, um, 
lock the view on, on I am Turk to enjoy I am Turk's mechanics for a bit, but it seems we don't have them on this recorded game for some reason. I get the Keister's one, so I believe Keister was the one who sent the recorded games. Weren't Paul Wagon good versus Sweden? Uh, yeah, early H3, and then they just fall apart uh, later on when Sweden gets snap lock and like get these speedy Carolians to get close to the war wagons. Yeah, let's talk the view on uh, on Kaiser, seeing what he does. 120 XP though, plus the training post, so he's gonna get a lot of shipments, and I wouldn't be surprised if we see. Uh, does he have anything in deck? He's got uh, blueberries, of course. But uh, we could see like a lot of uh, H2 shipments back to back as well. Okay, so scouting the bottom of the map. I am Turk just uh, doing the same, really. Gonna work on 80 coin treasure. And pick that up. Oh, Kaiser is gonna be really close to pick it up, but uh, I think I am Turk was closer to the treasure. I am Turk is not the man you challenge into treasure contention. The guy always wins those. He's he's got inhuman reaction time as well. I am Turk's mechanics. Sweden though, not selling blueberries. Um, gonna slowly gather for his age up. Snaring the German explorer though, so maybe gonna deny the German training post. Oh, getting blocked by the by one of the animal though. Let's speed that up a little bit. <coughs> Both players are gonna age now. Pretty much at the same time, Germany being slightly a bit faster. And uh, I'm talk probably gonna go for the string post. Ah, uh, he knows that Kaiser is there, so it's good adaptation for sure. Kaiser gonna send the villager to to herd, and then the one on the bottom as well. I'm Turk researching place of mines. Let's slow it down a little bit. TP going up, so Kaiser wasn't able to deny this German trading post. Errol saying Turk will win with Germany. We'll see how that goes. I wish Dutch banks could give 10 population as well. There would be plenty of space in the bank to house people. That's a fair point. Sweden though, topping the mines the closest to his base so far. So not going, not, it doesn't seem to be going extra greedy, uh, you know, like there are several mines that uh, you would like to top a Sweden, like this one is a good one, this one as well. These to some extent to deny German coin later on. Barracks going up for I'm Turk. Gonna get steel traps and some housing as well. This could be... Big mind game from, from Turk, because he's dropping a ranks, but he's gathering mostly coin. So he could go for a fast Voltress. But no, he's gonna train some pikes. Okay. Interesting decision. So is, is he gonna market trade? He needs to finish this house too. Sell the wagon, swap in. Ulans are gonna kill the Sweden explorer. This house is going to go up. Five pikes are going to be trained. Kaiser, barracks in base. Went for 700 wood and going to follow it up with 600 wood as well. And starting to top outside. But um, this is where it gets risky for Sweden. And this is why you want to top first the further away possible. And then start to top the safest one. Because now I assume Iron Turks' Ulan patrol is on the way. And yeah. Uh, 
Hamturk probably gonna catch Villager there, and he's got five pipes going for the top of the map as well. Gonna make quick uh, work on these shrines. Yeah, they're gonna get spotted and gonna die. 700 coin for the German player. Gonna try to age with that, but he's popped and gathered too much coin. Maybe it would be good to actually buy 100 wood and drop an extra house. Pikes are gonna kill the settler. Two Ulans killed another settler on the bottom. So already two Vils picked out for, for I am Turk and uh, Sweden at the same time, sending Angus, Angus big iron works now. 120 pop of tops, so not the greatest. Can I manage to sneak a Vil and, uh, and build the top? And uh, I'm sure seems to be going back with his Ulans. Let's see if he spots that Vil. Top gonna go up. Yeah, Pikes are gonna siege down that first top as well. Gangso being researched as well. Hamturk already up to the Fortress Age with the Excite Prince. You dirty sunny FF Flamer. Yeah. Two Ulans patrolling as well. Gonna scout this mine, but it's already topped. Und kann mich nicht bewegen. Two Ulans on the bottom, sieging the top. Gonna send them back to patrol. Yeah, the pike so far. Uh, King two tops. Where are. Ah, okay. Carnians on the way to defend that. Some Carnians being shipped to the top. And wait, how did Turk see that? Okay, that, that might be just uh, game sense and knowing that probably some Carnians are on the way. Turk straight FF. Yes, indeed. Gonna go for a thousand wood first. Interesting. Some Carnians. Uh, being rallied on the middle of the map. Some more Uran still sieging the top. Blueberry has been shipped for the Sweden player. Uh, some Ulans gonna get caught by the Carolians, so one of them gonna go down for sure. Some Carolians going for the backdoor raid, but uh, yeah, uh, Sweden has to be mindful because German could be training units and sending a military shipment. And Sweden doesn't know that, so... Has to be careful. One Ulan versus one Carillion. And more joining the battle, so... One more Ulan, gonna go down. Pike's going back to work. Have some scummy shows though. If, uh... Oh, uh, if Kaiser reacted a bit before, he could have melee these, uh, these scummy shows. He's gonna do it now, but uh, there's enough scums to one-shot the Carillion, so... Not gonna go too well for him. Thousand wood reaching the floor. Let's see what he does with that. He's got more Ulans gonna drop stable and uh, and more infrastructures perhaps. Sweden though, still not going to the fortress age just yet. A bit of miss macro. Ooh, more Ulans. Pretty close. Good reaction by Kaiser gonna pick one of them. Oh, and he's been topping that mine as well at the same time. I didn't really pay attention, but uh, 170 pop of tops, which is quite respectable and definitely great eco for the Sweden player. We, we can see this income. 1k food and uh, and almost 1k coin per minute. Sweden aging right now, but uh, yeah, 10 Carolians just sitting in the training post in the middle of the map and they're just gonna get caught by these like Ulans and, uh, and skirmishers and this is probably gonna be a good trade for Germany. So Kaiser is gonna try to kill as many Ulans as possible. He's gonna kill three of them. So three Ulans for ten Karelians, definitely a good trade for Germany. More pikes uh, working on these uh, on these tops. Escorted by some skirmishers. Sweden reaching the fortress stage now. Let's see what he's gonna send first. Two fucking nets. Okay. Interesting. Dropping a second barracks as well, so gonna go really heavy on Carolians and try to escort these uh, Falconets best he can. I'm Turk at the same time doing a pretty good job at uh, sieging tops everywhere. 
Let's see how he spent his wood. He's uh oh, he's getting an arsenal now, sending skirmishers, training war wagons, and getting counter infantry rifling. Um which she's she's just really good. Versus what Geister is doing. Obviously he wants to get this uh extra multiplier on your skirmishers when you play versus someone making mostly Carolians. One Ulan, gonna kill a villager as well. Yeah. Geister getting the fucking heads out of uh, veteran Carolians as well. And I'm gonna start hoping this uh, front line now. Good scouting from IM2. He's gonna lose his explorer, but he knows that two fucking heads are on the field now. And Sweden down to 140 40 population. Gonna send Snapnock now. Definitely a good shipment. Has to be careful though, because he doesn't have that many Carolines to cover his Falconets. The Ulanster from the German shipment making uh, and sieging these uh, Engelsberg tops. Looks like Kaiser is going for a push now. He's getting a lot of reinforcements in the back of it. Double racks, musketeers being produced. Gonna try to retop, but the five fives are still are still around, and uh, I took did a really good job at cleaning the top side of the map from every top. So <coughs> now he knows there's no more tops on the top, and he can just uh, leave some units on the gold mines. So Germany, I'm took playing that uh, pretty pretty good so far. Train post gonna go down. Small pickup for the Sweden player, but uh, these ops are gonna go down as well. I said the wagon gathering the blueberry bush as well. Kaiser though, stacking a lot of resources. Let's see what he does with that. He could be going for an A job. He seems to be remacking villagers right now. Every second that passes is good for Sweden. Could be, yeah. More war wagons being trained and Jaggers being sent by Iron Turk. And Jaggers with times three versus the Arnians are just gonna be insane. Some more Ulans patrolling, defending these villages. Was well, Iron Turk missing a hunt or something? No, he's got one there. He's just deciding to gather here instead. But yeah, um, MTR sieging the tops on the left left side now, and uh, Kaiser at the same time retopping the tops that he lost earlier. Retopping the prompt gold mine as well. So yeah, Kaiser is gonna go industrial and he's sending blackberries as well. Gonna click up to industrial anytime soon now. Yep, industrial queue. The king's musketeer gonna age up with ten Carolians. Yeah. Sending one wheel on the top to try to retop as well. But I'm sure he's gonna spot that wheel and uh, quickly kill him. So what is Sweden's situation right now? 160 pop of tops, but they are quite focused on uh, on a small part of the map and. Um, a church being dropped as well, not being built just yet. One pikeman still alive, gonna <laughs> slowly use these tops. Carolians though, gonna get some body on the on the Ulans, kill the pikeman as well. Is I am Turk pushing? Yes, he seems to be seems to be pushing now. I feel like it's go time for him. He's in the Jaggers. He's got uh, a solid mass of four wagons as well as anti cav and anti cannons. Rip, Pikeman, indeed. Rest in peace, Pikeman. Kaiser, almost in the industrial age now. He's got a solid mass of 44 Carolines. And he's got two Falcon Ends to potentially deal with these German infantry mass, but. Uh, has to use them really well. Gonna lose a villager there as well. Uh, Colonial Ulan sieging some tops. 
trying to use them the best he can because really in this matchup uh, opponents are just only good at raiding and sieging. 50 Carolians now on the field. Oh wow, that's a, that's just ridiculous mass of uh, of Carolians. He's gonna mock trade and, and research guard Carolians now. But he's losing a lot of tops. Um, 130 pop now. <coughs> That is basically trading string top population uh, for time, really. I am Turk sending a thousand coin. How is he gonna spend that? Is he gonna follow up to an industrial age? And doesn't look like it. Sweden down to 120 20 pop. He's gonna lose two more tops, probably. And uh, daggers and skirmishers are gonna knock to the front door now. Sweden didn't have a shipment ready until now, so he's gonna send something and it's gonna be Sweet Life Guard. One more top is gonna go down and Sweden is gonna be popped. He's rebuilding one here, but. So I don't know how this is going to go. Uh... I'm Turk training covering as well in the back of it and he's gonna spend his a thousand coin on artery now. Honestly these Jaegers plus Kamishers with times three should still deal with Guardians quite easily, even after a sweet left guard. Guys to has to make sure to not lose the Pokonets because it's his only answer to the Jaggers, but he's gonna lose both of them for three war wagons basically. Oh, turbo mode. 50 guard Carolines charging the German infantry. Gonna get into contact with some skirmishers. Finally, gonna stop firing, but uh, these skirmishers and Jaggers are doing a ton of damage to the Carolines. Uh, we can see three or four Carolines going down per volley. Is it a close fight? I feel like the, the Sweden mess is just dwindling now. Um, 25 Carolians remaining. The wagon still being alive. Not even close. I'm not too sure about that. Uh, these seem to be pretty good trade for for Germany. Um, and Kaiser though down to 120 pop of tops, so he's not gonna get access to the Egyptian Mamluks just yet. And and Ulan still stitching tops everywhere on the map. Redo. More Carolinians being trained, but uh, we'll see this coin income is starting to be lower and lower for for Sweden. So he's gonna follow up with the factory and uh, he's gonna lose these 10 Carolinians at the top of the map. Gonna kill some Ulans though. Kaiser trying to retop uh, this gold mine. He's desperate for coin at this point. He's gonna get two tops, uh, two tops up for the price of one villager. A good raid though, gonna kill some villagers as well. Sending more carrying inch to raid on the top of the map. I mean, it's gonna catch some more wagons if he pays attention, but he doesn't pay attention, so. I am Turk, he's gonna catch these Carolians. Factory going up in the back of it, also not going up as well. But a good raid though, from Kaiser gonna kill a set of wagon and gonna kill more villagers as well. Spotting the outer refinery as well. I am Turk on 34 villagers so far.
But this German army is looking scary now, and uh, Antak knows that the the big threat right now is either Mamluks or heavy cannons, and he's got 19 cap combat war wagon to deal with the Mamluks, and he's got three coverings as well to deal with the heavy cannons. So all in all, I feel like this German army is just unkillable right now. Let's see what Kaiser is doing. Uh, Training more Carly and he's putting his factory on coin, but he doesn't have quite the mass. Uh, he's got nine Carlians in total. He did a good job at retolving the map and back to 180 population, but uh, what is he gonna send now? He's running 900 wood. And he's market trading everything, so he's gonna get Mamelukes currently. Can lose some villager on the top of his base as well. Holy Vetsa with the Twitch Prime, what a shitter, indeed. Gonna try to kill some Mulans. Mamluks are on the way now. And he's gonna try to buy time by sending some Guardians to raid, but uh, Antioch though is just gonna park his army under Kaiser's DC and. I mean, Kaiser has to go back because if this town center goes down, he's got no rally point for his Mamelukes, and then the game is over basically. Kero being called back, gonna use the special ability to take down one more Ryan. And it's gonna be really close where the Mamelukes pop or not. Uh, there's a Karanian flank, but there's only 15 of them, and both Kaiser's Rex is up down now. So there's gonna be no more infantry reinforcements and the Mackerel Wagon is kind of great, it's kinda of scary. Mamluks popping, Lisbon popping. But yeah, there's enough wagon to basically one-shot the Mamluks, so... I feel like this this is just gonna go well for Germany. More reinforcements in the back of this as well, and yeah, guys, it's just gonna call the GG, Sweden lost. A pretty clean game from from I am Turk. Well played overall, and a bit of a questionable build order from from Sweden. Training a lot of Carolians in H2 and aging quite late to the fortress age. Uh, 700 wood, 600 wood, Angusberg and blueberries in H2. So going super greedy, but uh, but yeah, uh, deciding to go H4 when Germany had his power spike with the Eggers and, and times three with the counter infantry, so... Good game, let's quickly fix the score. Currently 1-1 one, one between these two players. And let's move on into the next game, game number three between Kaiser and I am Turk. People being quite happy, Sweden lost in the chat. Next map, Alaska in this game number three. And Kaiser is gonna go with the Portuguese versus I am Turk going as the Indian civilization. Um, yeah, I mean, Kester been playing quite a lot of Portuguese recently, showing by beating Age of Killer that ports are definitely overpowered, and uh, and he's a top three CF pick on this map for sure. I'm Turk though, going as India. We'll see what uh, I'm Turk plan plan is, because India is. Let's see if that does well, Spotty is what were, but on no TP map. Um, I'd say that this is sports favored 100%. But maybe Hunter got a trick up on his sleeve. This will either be a long game or a really quick one. Well, let's hope it's a long game because it's usually more entertaining. Kaiser not dropping a house, so gonna go for the Portuguese 10 10. Gonna speed up a little bit. Oops. Hamtuck seems to be going for the Nuka, Nuka Clubman. 
Could do some good damage versus villager and and, and sieging potential dog. Uh, I mean, I'm saying that, but I'm not even sure Glacier is gonna go water. But yeah, I mean, uh, picking Portuguese and not going water on this map would be a crime. So nothing to do H1 TBH. Um, yeah, when you're going 10-10, there's not much to do except scouting the map and going for treasures. 103 XP though, and Schooner's being sent. I'm gonna slow down a little bit now. Portuguese already going to the colonial age with the corner master, so we're gonna age with 400 wood. I'm Turk going for the wood trickle. And, uh, and the Nootka uh, just patrolling the coast, trying to scout any potential dock and, uh, and catch a villager, trying to slow it down, maybe kill him. Uh, I'm Turk sending several villagers, so we'll see if this one is just for herding or I'm gonna drop an Niagara Falls. Um, a Niagara on the shore would be, would be quite decent for sure, but uh, sending his villager a bit late and... Yeah... Okay, Niagara Falls gonna go up, clicking up at 310. And this villager is not gonna help building it, and so I know for a fact because I played this matchup a billion times as well that if Kaiser identifies that, he can just Caravel rush the aggro fort and take it down before an Turk even reaches H2, and he's scouting it, and Kaiser is gonna be up anytime soon. Nutka gonna snare the. The Portuguese explorer, though, but uh, yet this is risky, especially uh, he's building a lot of pillars. But uh, yeah, I feel like this is uh, this is really late. Agro fort. She's just saying, say something sexy. Mm, three caravel rush. Mm, Portuguese water. Is that sexy enough? And yeah, two bells being shipped, one more caravel being trained, and this Agra Fault, I'm calling it right now, this is not gonna go up, definitely not. Uh, uh, you need 12 VL age up, and you need at least 3 VLs in your Agra Fault, and time them perfectly with your age up, because, yeah, otherwise this is just gonna happen. Adish? VL age being harassed, Town Center going up for the Portuguese player, being quite defensive. The castle is gonna try to go up, but yeah, there's the caravels. Uh, one villager gonna go down, the second one gonna go down, and uh, and the sacrifice. Uh, I am Turk is nowhere close to aging, and uh, and and yeah, this this is not going to go. Yeah, GG. And this is yeah how not to play versus sports weather really. Um, I am Turk. Maybe wasn't aware of this being a possibility, but but yeah, it will go up, but it's just gonna go down. I'm Turk shipping his own caravels in the back of this, and Kaiser he's just string fishing boats now. Has to be careful of his caravel though. He could get stuck, turned with HP. One more shot. Oh, he's gonna be another one. No, he won't. So where are where are Iron Turk's Scarabell? They're gonna pop, but they're gonna pop in 10 seconds, and in 10 seconds, this Agrifolk is just going down. Scarabell being brought back, but he could get focused by the Agrifolk. Two caravels popping from I am Turk. He needs to focus this uh, 40 years caravel. So the Agra is gonna go down at the cost of one caravel, really. And uh, and yeah, your main anti water building is just down for I am Turk now. And this is definitely a good trade for ports. And now you have dogs just shooting the boats, and you can't just chase this low HP caravel, it's just gonna go down to TC Fire as well. Yeah, that was the Agro Fort and there was also two Indian villagers going down. 
Yeah, this stock is gonna survive. Ooh, this Garvedoc could go down. Nope, it's gonna stay alive now. But what's the follow-up for I'm Tuck now? He's down to 19 wheels. He had to rebuild the barracks at home, but what he's training a few Sipo is gonna do, really. The dog going up, but there's no support, and if and if Geister is making more caravels, which he is not, but he sent improved build, improved warships, and now he could uh, definitely be nuking India out of the water right now. Feels like Ports just plays one minute ahead of everyone, and yes, it's true. One village are gonna go down though. Good pickup for I am Turk. You're gonna see Geister pull tricking, yes he will, but uh, not gonna be in time, so he's just gonna go down. Talk going up, Caraval are gonna slowly be killed. More fishing boats being trained. Portuguese is already on 30 cent villager. Pretty respectable villager count considering he went to caravels and improved building, improved warships as well. See. One vale is gonna patrol the coast. Two sepoys harassing the villagers on the wood line. Hand center didn't get repaired though. Is Keister looking for I am Turk's caravel, so you can see. So then you just missed him. Castle gonna go up. Building time is quite slow with only one villager on it. Ninja trying to uh, queue some fishing boats of his own, but the only thing you can gather from this stock is the whale over here. Anything else will get instantly denied, really. Caravel from Keister is not gonna find I am Turk's caravels. And this caravel with the improved warships is just gonna beat this Indian caravel for sure. Second one being broke, but uh, it's gonna go down. Good luck from from Kaiser. He's gonna try to escape, but uh, maybe I'm Chuck can catch it. It's gonna be really close. It's gonna go down, so one for one. Not the worst rate for India considering he's got uh, the weaker. Navy. Hey sir, can I harass these few Indian fishing boats? Castle is up now, but uh, I mean... This map is quite tricky, if, depending on the spawns, you'd rather want a castle, a castle here to just deny a whale and, and even two whales there. Jekaister is gonna try to kill this caravel, not let that heal, and uh, yeah, castle support not gonna be enough to deal with these warships. I'm talking at the same time, killing a few villagers under Skyster first PC. But yeah, ports on 52 villagers now. And uh, we can see the, the score gap slowly going into Portuguese favor. I'm Turk sending 700 wood. So he's got a lot of wood in the bank, but uh, he's gonna try to drop a second castle, getting more sea control with buildings. <coughs> Caravels coming back. Okay, sir, and Geister didn't spot the castle, which is quite big. But now he's gonna see it if he pays attention, and uh, and yeah. Uh, this castle is not going up. There's a villager as well that can be sniped. Yeah, villager gonna go down. Some sepoy gonna kill a house in the meantime, but yeah, Pori is just on 60 villagers now. Sending 700 coin. Um, to be fair, he probably doesn't need the coin to, to age up, but uh, he's gonna go for it. I'm gonna rescue the, the goober. Explorer popping minute men as well. Gonna try to kill these sea boys, and I am to knows he's gonna lose them, so he's just gonna try to target villagers for that. Um, but yeah, 
<clears throat> I am sure highly Miss Macro is gonna train train so, some warships, but Poris is gonna go to H3 anytime soon now, and he's got 64 wheels, and he's got like 90% of the sea control. The only thing being denied is really this whale. And he's got the stronger navy as well. And yeah, we can see that on the score. Uh, Poli is being 50 score ahead now. This Caraval is just instantly gonna go down. And yeah, looking quite good for Poli so far. A uh, minute man gonna go down to the Indian monks. Most sepoys being trained. Trying to really harass uh, Portuguese land villagers, but uh, yeah, India is nowhere, nowhere close to age. He's got 800 expelled though. You could see maybe some red coats with that, but yeah, one more car rail being trained, but Hintok uh, just cannot go anywhere outside of his castle castle range and uh, this castle going up he's gonna get spotted by uh, by Kaiser and more villagers gonna go down bringing India down to 34 villager T-Boys denying the barracks I hope Turk will resign soon yeah I mean this this is just over and yeah he's calling the GG. Um quite a quick game but uh but yeah massive mistake from I am Turk you just cannot go for one villa like, around the shore uh versus pots ten ten Check the game. So score is now currently 2 1 for Kaiser. We're gonna take a quick one minute break. Gotta fill my bottle of water. And I'll be right back in a second. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back in this series between Kaiser and I am Turk. Score is currently 2-1 for Kaiser, and we're gonna move into game number four. Kaiser is gonna play as the Swedes once again, versus I am Turk playing as the Dutch civilization on this map. I'm gonna quickly try to catch up with the chats. Oh, there is a has a anti water guide. Yes, there is one actually. Who would win this matchup? Hi, Sweden does says Haza. So we'll see how that goes. Both players looking to pick up some llamas on the left side of the map, which is quite the common theme on this map. I <laughs> have yeah, Turk with you. When did you start full time laming? 
<laughs> yeah, I am talking he's just playing old AoE. He doesn't know about the new AoE. And yeah, guys are exactly pointing that up. It's all about Sieve Selection Micro and abusing all the things that the game has to offer you at the moment. So, yeah. I mean, can't blame the player. But yeah, to annoy Turk, you have to... Yeah, I mean, the, the guy is just so nice that if, the, if he's pissed, then you're really doing something wrong. Harrison, with the sub, 18 months in a row now. Sweden is a well-designed and balanced sieve. Yep, I have to agree. Thank you for the sub, though. The tier of players taking Lamas uh, Dutch cut four overall, and there's one more to be picked up. Can I get this nice 75 fruit as well? Man, I f it feels like I'm watching the same games every series. Yep. Yep, yep. I agree. Hot water, Spanish logistician, and Sweden. Yeah, pretty much. Welcome to tournament gameplay, says Harrison. Yeah, hello. But yeah, I mean, yeah. some thieves are overpowered, so you just can't ignore them. I don't think Turk care about matchup. He's like, yeah, he's picking thieves he likes. Yeah, that's for sure. I don't think I've seen Brits in like two or three series, or is it just me? Uh, I think RT played British on Camshaft Cavers as Signature Bear. Now the treasure being picked up by I am Turk Sandy Food now. So a pretty good age one for the Dutch player so far. I'm gonna speed that up a little bit. Transition, Dutch history scattering for a bank. Yeah. Ah. Can I work on 80 coin? And so yeah, going super well so far for for I am Turk picking the best treasures. There's a nice 80 coin over here as well. Caster at the same time sending villagers everywhere to start topping the map. I prefer to watch paint dry than port mirror. Yeah, I, that's also personal preference, I guess, but... Touch though, chopping the bank. He's almost got the coin ready for a villager, but he's still oh, chopping wood, so we'll see what he decides to do. Okay, now he's just stopping. So he's gonna go back to normal and standard Dutch macro. Still 80 coin here to be picked up. Uh, both players would be really happy about that. Aztec, Lakota, Russia are pretty much never played. Well, they are just bad seeds in this current meta. Dutch gonna age at 410, pretty standard age of time. The village is going forward though. And 700 wood being shipped. Good thing to see if Micro is getting way harder in the next round. Does it? Ham Turk, Powered Barracks. Kaiser in base stable. Okay, and this is gonna get spotted by uh, by Ham Turk, so he knows the stable is on the way. Good scouting so far. <coughs> Sweden only on 50 top of tops. But which is quite reasonable considering he's going calf. So if he wants to get a full batch of five missiles, he needs he needs to chop less wood overall. But yeah, a thousand Q, more tops being 
dropped on the sides of the map. Helm Turk, gonna get five fights. I'm gonna be on the second bank as well. Kaiser though, doing a good job scouting the touch base and if he pays attention and he sees two houses and only a second bank being dropped now, then you must know that there's uh, something going on. <coughs> Settler being harassed. The bikes are gonna kill the settler. It's pretty good addition. What did you just bed. see? Three house hours. Sorry. <laughs> we got like. How you call that? In, fr in France, we say like a cat in the throat. Like something being stuck in your throat. <clears throat> Much better with a bit of water. So, yeah, three house hours being trained for. Okay, so we're gonna go for a raid under. The Dutch Town Center. Frog in your throat is the US term for that. Okay. Well, you learn something every day. Ham Turk. Five pikes. Doesn't seem like. Oh, actually, yeah. train, he trained more pikes. So, Geyser is doing a good job idling the Dutch villagers. But yeah, the pikes are. Gonna deal with it now. Bank wagon being shipped for the Dutch player. So he's only on two banks now. Um, if I were him, I would just buy 100 wood. I actually still got crates on the floor. So probably gonna drop an additional bank here. But Pikes though, doing great, well good done. job at staging the tops on the top of the map. And Kaiser on 130 pop so far. Training more of his house now. So he spotted the barracks. And he's gonna send his cat to catch the pikes, uh, which makes sense when you have seven hussars, you can definitely afford to take his fight. More hussars being trained. So it looks like um, Kaiser is looking to go siege this forward base with all these cav and, uh, and raid and have leather cannons to deal with potential. Uh, more pike men being trained by I am Turk. I am Turk though, still on three banks. A fourth one going up. And it looks like he's macroing for an age up now. Yeah. More pikes being sent. Uh, he's top he's gonna get spotted. But yeah, I am Turk gonna kick up anytime soon. He's eating some llamas as well, and uh, the push is coming from the Sweden He's player. There's ten hussars on the field so far. Um, two leather cannons as well. <sighs> so, ooh, that's that could be a big pickup. And yeah, Kaiser can realize and just instantly kill these two villagers. This barracks probably gonna go down as well. Uh, thing is, um, Hamtuck is up now. And there's only four pikes, so he might be in a bit of trouble. Minutemen being called as well. Uh, curious decision. Now he sees the leather cannons as well, and more hussars being trained. That's a lot of hussars for the Sweden player. It's kind of too late to ship leather. Yeah, I have to agree. But uh, yeah, I'm just trying to buy some time with these leftover pikes and, and Minutemen, but. This Rex is just gonna go down and I feel like he should have saved the pipes for maybe later on in the game to just send them here as Siege at all or, or something like that. So I am Turk is reaching the Fortress Age, there's 13 Hussars and there was so much raiding and idle potential for Sweden but it feels like he's just missing his window by sieging this Rex. And um, yeah, the stable is up, uh, this barracks is gonna get denied but... You know, like in 15 seconds, they're gonna be Reuters popping. And yeah, exactly. Nine Reuters being shipped, five being trained, and uh, and Kaiser has to get away from here. Sampu, Kampu in the chat. How are you doing? Yeah, Reuters being trained. Uh, I'm gonna quickly kill this explorer. 
In the back of this, uh, Sweden is aging to the Fortress Age. He's now finally dropping a barracks. Uh, and oh, this envoy is gonna spot the Hussars, so the Reuters are just gonna make their way to. What do you focus here as uh, you start? Do you focus the ladder? I think you go for the cab first. Uh, two ladders are kind of irrelevant later on. And yes, yeah, some hussars are gonna die. Good split though from Geister just snaring the group of writers, making sure he can escape. And finally. Oh, Minutemen being called. Uh, but this is not a good trade. He's gonna do so many hussars for these writers. Uh, that's just not a good trade. One writer going down. That's like the fifth hussar going down already. Or two or three writers. I'm Turk though, stacking a lot of resources. Clive. Sweden, 190 pop of uh, tops. Gonna go for 200 with this one. So, really got a great economy so far. Angus Berg being shipped. Blueberries have been shipped as well. Now, training Caroli Carolians. Uh, the two leather cannons are still alive in the middle of the map, clutched to the Dutch base, which is, which is crazy. How's that possible? One village are gonna go down to the Rogers. But he had time to top the entire gold mine, so not a bad trade overall. Black berries being shipped, so guys are going super greedy there. One more villager going to go down. So good pickups for uh, I'm Turk, but uh, Carolians being trained. There's only 10 of them and are still in H2, so Geister yeah. needs to chop more wood and upgrade them. Oh. So I was going for a raid, but there's five writers to deal with that. Leathers, cannons, actually doing some damage versus writers, but eventually they're gonna go down. And uh, these writers on the top are just training really well with the H2 Carolians. Five Hussars. Uh, is that a batch or a shipment? It was a batch of five SLs actually. So this leather cannon is gonna go down. One more villager is gonna go down as well. Counter infantry rifling being researched by AM Turk that actually sent 1k wood after after the nine Reuters, so. Now getting 8 skirmishers on the way. Thomas R is being picked up. Uh, Sweden was trying to go for a raid. And yeah, uh, Dutch got a lot of resources in the bank and he's gonna get a really strong power spike with these uh, counter infantry skirmishers. Uh, just needs to spend his resources. He's got a house, but he's not building it. Steel traps being researched as well. Eight skirmishers now. And Keister is going industrial in the back of this. Uh, yeah, just Sweden thing. So kind of a remake of the Sweden versus Germany that we've seen a bit before, except that this time I'm Turk is putting way less pressure. And Keister is going industrial with full eco. He sent blackberries, he sent uh, iron works, he sent blueberries as well. And uh, yeah, just uh, gonna spam Carolians from Double Racks. He will have a shipment ready as well, because you only need 100 XP now. Amtrak is gonna push, but he's only got <clears throat> 8 skirmishers, and this is not really forcing a fight. Um, gonna probably pick up a villager there. Yeah, he will. Some hobbity has been trained to stop sieging tops. Kaiser, gonna be industrial under 10 seconds. Oh, 
A lot of Canadians now. 40 Canadians have been trained in the space of two minutes. Right is going for a raid, but uh, yeah, taking some volleys from the Carolines. <coughs> Got Carolines being researched, three lifeguards being sent. Oh, turbo mode. So yeah, these skirmishers should go down for sure. More Reuters being trained, but uh, more skirms over here as well. But uh, yeah, Kaiser going it a little bit early because he didn't have three lifeguards, so probably an even trade overall. But even trade means it's pretty good for Sweden. So the helps are slowly killing the tops on the right side of the map. What is uh, Hunter doing? Uh, it's getting place mines. He's still stacking so many resources. Arthur refinery as well. Sweden will be the reason people will quit AoE 3. I don't know about that. I think the sieve is by design completely retarded, but I think Inca is even worse, and I think Spanish logistician is also quite a dumb feature. But that's just my personal opinion. Touch stacking 2k resources so far. Could see an industrial at some point. Uh, some villagers are gonna get killed by Carolians. He needs to go pure fast. Yes, but not really because, I mean, even though they have range resist, these units are just anti cav. A good hassle rate though on the gold mine. Can I kill at least one villager? That shit's getting some momentum though. A lot of uh, skirmishers pushing these. Uh, this guardian's back. Some Vios have been killed as well. And covering the train as well. Carolian Ray though. Gonna kill a few villagers if uh, Kaiser pays attention and he does. So two Vios, probably three Vios are gonna go down. No, he's gonna stop pushing the writers instead. Infantry combat now for the Dutch player. Geister <coughs> sending two heavy cannons. So no Mamelux. I feel like Mamelux would just be three win because I'm telling you doesn't have much anti cav and you have like 50 Carolians. Um, but gonna go for the heavy cannons instead. Still raiding with the Carolians. Should probably do some Somali tactics here in the other villages. Oh, he's gonna spot the covering so. And get any lead him and turn into a lot of damage in melee. Uncovering is gonna go down. So this could be quite big because Sweden just sent heavy cannons, so if he can kill the coverings for free, then it's just really good for him. Turbo mode, the charge from the guard Carolians. The heavy cannons are quite in the back. Ooh, a good flank from Good prank from Kaiser though, could immediately some of these Carolians to snare the scavengers and, uh, and and get a good trap on them, but uh... Is my stat? Nice portrait from I am Turk. Clear. But yeah, only no I don't know who's faded there. I still think Sweden should win from this point, but it's still a long way out. Some Hussars raiding. Hop's doing a good job sieging the tops. How about yes, gonna go down to the heavy cannons? Yeah, I am Chuck is gonna see these uh, heavy cannons now, so he's gonna make uh, additional coverings. He's got one on the field, he's training another one. Probably gonna get a third because that's the magic number you need to one shot a heavy cannon. But uh, but yeah, Chuck needs to head 
Right, is really. Yeah. Yeah, I think he's got a solid mass of skirmishers with counter infantry rifling and uh, in infantry combat, and he's got 40 of them. So now the only thing he can really die is Mamelukes, in my opinion. So I feel like he should really go for second stable now and start putting a lot of uh, lot of writers. Mamelukes though, gonna get the stand on the on the Reuters, and yeah, there's not that many Reuters now, uh, as I was mentioning. And Kaiser just needs to go in. Like these uh, these mems are not gonna die to 12 Reuters, and uh, yeah, just uh, if he can just go in and and then move all these muskets, then he's just gonna clean up here. More writers being trained, but uh, a lot of buffing issues though for the Sweden player, and the Mamluks being a bit alone on the front. So the two heavy cannons are gonna die to the coverings, but the coverings are gonna die to to the Carolines, and they're still three Mamluks, although they are quite low HP. But yeah, Time Turk is losing quite a few villagers at the same time and there's so many reinforcements that are coming from everywhere from Sweden. One last Mameluk, but this guy with 700 HP is gonna tank for a while versus uh, Skirmishers. Oscom is being propped from the barracks, slowly working on these Caronians, but uh, yeah, the main army from the Dutch player is uh, just going down. A lot of villages going down now, the Dutch player being on 24 villages. Cavalry combat being shit, but this. Pretty much no more cavalry, and Kaiser is gonna send more Mamelukes. It's gonna turbo as well, just to catch these remaining scums. And yeah, it's just picking up all the reinforcements the Dutch player has to. He's making right now, and yeah, Dutch being really low on food is gonna lose more villagers here, and just not looking good for the Dutch player. Sweden staying under Dutch first DC, but now Dutch is on 16 VOs. And, uh, and yeah, I am Turk is gonna call on the GG. So now it's currently 3 1 for Kaiser, taking quite a comfortable. Uh, lead in this series. Anyway, let's move on into the next game. <clears throat> Which is going to be game number five <coughs> in this best of seven between Kaiser and I am Turk. And we will have Kaiser playing as Spain versus I am Turk playing as Portuguese on Dakar. Uh, two strong sieves for this map, for sure. But we'll, we'll see how that goes. Uh, and this nice AD wood already spotted for the Spanish player. Nobody.
check this code, okay? Oh, okay, hold on one minute. All right, I'm going to have to restart the game. Um, quickly going to turn the overlay on because apparently I made a slight mistake. So I'm going to be right back in a second. Sorry about this uh, short break, I'm just trying to sort something out. All right, sorry about this uh, short break. We're going to get back into into the game. Uh, not multiplier. This is not where I'm going to find the recorded game. Uh, Kaisters, the Siam Turk, game number five, because it's currently 3-1. OK, so just to explain the situation, um, there was um, a mistake made in the in the the orders of the recorded game. So the score is actually currently 3-2 because I am Turk won a game on Kamchatka as Japan versus Keister Sweden. And this game was technically played just before they played the previous game, which was Sweden versus Dutch on Pampa Sierra. So apologize for that. But uh, the score is currently 3-2 and not 3-1. Anyway. This is now game number six, actually. Score is 3-2, and we're gonna move on Daka with Kaiser playing as the Spanish player, and I am Turk playing as the Portuguese civilization. As I was mentioning before, a nice AD wood. Correcto. Uh, I don't know if if we will watch the Japan versus Sweden game because now I um, I mean we basically know that I am Turk uh, won that game so watching while being 
spoiled is just not really not really great. So I'll check with the administrators if we still cast this game later on. Or not. Um, no matter what will happen, you will have the Rex, the recorded games being provided on uh, on the ESOC forums. But yeah, trading post going up for Spain and trading post going up for the Portuguese player as well. Logistician question mark, maybe. Maybe standard Spain FF, maybe Portuguese water, maybe ATP. A lot of things are possible. This game. And this two civilization. See. 100 food. I'm gonna get picked up by the Portuguese player, which is gonna be perfect since he's going 10-10. Uh, so if he can get 100 food uh, quite fast, then it's gonna mi minimize his idle time and get a quicker hit up as well. Has to do going uh, for a late house because uh, he had. Um, 80 wood that he picked up from the treasure. Whereas I'm talking, he's gonna click up under two minutes, which is just ridiculous. And that's why this 100 foot treasure is so OP for ports. Some yaks being collected on the map. Then training post being shipped by the Spanish player. <coughs> and he's also aging with 14 years, so it's gonna be quite a quick catch up time for Spain as well. Um, but yeah, more X being picked up on the map. Lordy. And yeah, advanced training post for the Spanish player. Gonna aim to build that training post as soon as po possible. I am taking schooners. I'm gonna drop a dock. So let's see what Kaiser is doing. Okay, what <laughs> AOE being the deck, and it's a Spanish logistician. <clears throat> so with all the wonders you can have, uh, advanced training post, colonial militia, improved buildings, of course, advanced stocks, some economic. Uh, Thoughts such as fish markets, uh, eco theory, and schooners. Not AOE, it's a pretty fun deck. And I am Turk with a more standard ish deck. Uh, quite a bit of unit achievement and, uh, and some water cards as well. But Pori uh, is gonna reach the colonial age at 330. Send 700 wood first. He still didn't drop a house. So he didn't train any boats just yet. Come on, big truck. You need to build that house. I can do it for you. No, I can't. There you go. I'm gonna go for a wall in the middle as well. And TC on the pond, so interesting choice. Um, a TC on the shore when you're water booming is obviously really strong, but here it's just mad because I mean there's only food nearby and like you can't really pop your wheels on uh, on the wood, which is why this map is sometimes super imbalanced because like I am Turk's wood line is terrible compared to Kaiser's wood line which is much better. And yeah, schooners being shipped for the Spanish player and infinite 300 wood as well. Which is gonna be uh, 400 wood, 200 food, and 100 coin. Uh, but yeah, second dock's going up for all these players starting to pump some uh, some fishing boats. So 3 TP, 8 TP. Wait, what do we make of this? This is a curious. Uh, 
curious to be a builder, but it seems pretty good. For sure. You get so much XP to send shipments back to back. You can get like a lot of wood that you can invest into fishing boats from sending that that card as well. You can have pretty much a rendering plant in each one as well, which is just 25% instead of 30, which is basically the same really. Spain can just afford everything with this build, says Haza. Yeah, it appears to be the case. Rendering plant, second car in H24. Mturk. Can I chop an outpost in the shore as well? Kaiser researching stagecoach and water booming himself. So we might see some conflict on the sea at some point because, well, obviously there's not enough fish in the sea. Barracks going up for Kaiser. And two caravels are going to be shipped for I'm Turk. He still got his what flag on the sea, so. Oh no, he's gonna change for eight bows. Eight bows? That's a really curious decision. We'll see what he does with that. Is this logistician for Spain? Yes, it is. Uh, get nine fishing boats, wrong. He's gonna train some pickies. Probably. I'm gonna try to siege this trading post, I would assume. Yeah, I don't understand this, say, crossbow shipment. Eight posts cannot see the GTP. Yeah, especially not with the trading post, but... Uh, I am Turk is just next level brain and he's gonna anticipate the five bikes that coming from a Rex that he never saw and just gonna completely blind counter that with a bow shipment so we all suck and he's a god and we should all shut up and this is why a crossbows was being sent there so more boats being trained by like I serve and uh, I assume the same thing from I'm Turk really yeah so both players booming really hard. The crossbow is just trying to chase the Preparado. the pipemen and the Spanish explorer as well, but who sí. the wild dogs though, these dogs are beasts versus Preparado. crossbows, but uh, are they gonna Ooh, it's gonna be close. It's gonna survive with 30 HP, so the dogs will the dogs will get trained. There's still three pipes as well for the snaring potential, and these dogs do a lot of damage to crossbows. Hey, now train two caravels from from these two dogs. Um, gonna try to apply some pressure on the sea. Where same Turk is sending 700 coin now, and he's got a lot of food in the bank, so. Probably we will be seeing an H up uh, anytime soon. 46 views for the Portuguese player, 39 for the Spanish player, but Spain got straight TP stagecoach for one to the Portuguese player. Dogs lose to crossbows in real life. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. 700 coming shifts. A nice spyglass though, gonna finally spot these two dogs. And he's gonna cancel the coin and send two caravels immediately. Which is a good response because uh, some caravels are being trained for Kaiser as well. Infinite 300 coin directly into the bank, so now Spain can just take job in the back of, of this water push. Have you tried shooting a running dog? Wow, wow, wow. Please no violence towards animals. But yeah, the guys are going to the fortress stage now. And I am took who was so close to age. Uh, just completely changing his mind and I'm not gonna ship two bears, train one, and completely re macro as well.
Kaiser researching armor plating. Interesting. So it's gonna try to buff his uh, warships on the sea. Could train an, ed an addition on Caravel as well from his second dock, but uh, not gonna go for it. And uh, M Turk got three bears. He's training a four, so probably waiting for his next Caravel to, to push on the sea, but um, he doesn't have improved warships. And Kaiser is gonna get armor plating, so it's gonna be really hard for I am Turk to um, to really break this water. Still some pikes to harass the string first. See the Portuguese fleet on the way. Four Cara. Caravel in the field, improved warships being being sent right now, and a fifth caravel being trained as well. So gonna go super heavy on the on the water, but uh, Spain though, he's got uh, arm plating. Does he have improved warships? Yes, he does in deck, but he didn't send send it just yet. So Spain is gonna reach the fortress stage agent with the covered wagon, which is the thumb sender. And he's gonna send a frigate first and train a frigate from the docks as well. Preparado. And these frigates are gonna be super hard for Portuguese to deal with just yet because frigates with armor plating they have 3000 HP. And which is just hard for caravels to deal with in H2. So Portuguese is aging now and he's getting good momentum on the sea. Uh, he's getting some push goings, denying the, the mid sea fishes. Um, but yeah, he's gonna get counter pushed quite soon because Kaiser is moving in. Two caravels and two frigates are gonna show up anytime soon. Also, finally seeing uh, more land units being trained, some lancers. And yet, there comes the Spanish fleet, just gonna hit right when Portuguese uh, reaches the fortress age. Ports though, still didn't have the unit until now. Uh oh. One of the caravel gonna go down? Yes, it will. Random cannonball shooting, being shot like completely randomly in the ocean. But yeah, uh, some really good momentum for the Spanish player with the better Navy. Some lancers are gonna harass on land and the pikes will deal with the training post. Let's be careful though, not to use one of these expensive warships. I'm still gonna call minis men to deal with the lancers. But yeah, a lot of uh, the Portuguese economy is being idle right now. The training post is going down as well. One frigate being trained and one being shipped. Just uh, mirroring what the Spanish player has been doing just now. Spain got a shipment though. We'll see what he decides to send, but uh, looking at his, uh, at his macro, he's training one more, one more frigate. He's probably gonna lose a caravel there. It's gonna be close, yeah, it's going down. But it's looking like he's gonna click industrial anytime soon. So I think he improved warships as well, just to hold on to the water. Some uh, pikes doing a bit of uh, scouting mission back of the Portuguese base, but uh, Minutemen should be able to deal with them. And actually, the pikes are gonna kill them. Look at me, I'm a strong and independent spearman. Oh, I don't like your horses, I'm just gonna go burn your house, you know? Back on the water, though, a lot of action. Hemsworth is probably gonna lose the caravel there. Throw the frigate and improved warships is gonna come quite handy right now. Buffing the Spanish warships just a bit more and uh, now Spain got a massive pick advantage on the on the sea. So he's gonna control most of it uh, right now and what is Time Turk doing? Time Turk on 68 wheels, he's training some dragoons just to deal with the the small Spanish harassment. And uh, but yeah, uh, he doesn't have armor plating, so his warships are way worse actually than the 
than the Spanish Navy. Finally getting the town and training Caraval as well. But yeah, he's quite low on resources and he's close to be popped. Uh, he needs more housing space. Uh, Spanish explorer is gonna rebuild this uh, AKP training post now. So now Spain is also sitting on four TPs and uh, Kaiser is gonna get it's gonna reach industrial anytime soon with the stronger eco than the Portuguese player due to the four TP stage code. Some scummy shirts on the train, but they're gonna go down. AG with two falconets. Seems that he's running them to the shore and gonna use them as a water support. Two fuck o nets. And uh, the falconets are gonna do a lot of damage uh, to the. The caravel, oh, I'm plating just coming right on time for for uh, the Portuguese player. The two clocks are gonna go down, but they're gonna kill one of the caravel, and this frigate is in trouble as well. One frigate going down. And these caravels are in trouble as well. One monitor being trained by Kaiser. And yeah, these two wheels are gonna go down and there's still three frigates alive for the Spanish player. Now the monitor is gonna slowly start to work on these buildings and the tower contenders and docks. One more frigate's being trained by uh I Inter. Has to make sure he doesn't lose his monitor. That's quite a big investment. Oh, low HP frigate though. Oh, if I am to target it, and he should. Ah, but he didn't get the lock. Oh. Two low HP frigates for both players. Really close C battle. Second monitor being trained as well for for Kaiser. First now actually training land units. Uh, in the meantime, I am Turk is just focusing 100% on C right now. Uh, he knows he's behind in age, so he has to somehow win the C if he wants to win this game. Some lances though. And Scummy Show is being trained. So it looks like I am Turk is just stuck in H3. And Kaiser in the back of it, uh, he's got shipments ready, he could send a factory, he could send, uh, you know, heavy fortification, stop spamming power on the shore as well to make sure that he cannot lose the water. Um, but yeah, factories would be good. Heavy cannons would also provide him siege to push the land. Monitor shots, can I get this town center to super low HP. He's 3 2 scoring mistake. No, scoring is actually correct. It's so hard to uh, to manage the, the warships and try not to target the fishing boats as well. And both players are kind of shooting at them right now. That's like six shipments. What is this? Oh, logistician, yeah. This monitor is probably gonna go down. Caster doesn't pay attention. Yeah, one, <coughs> one monitor is going down, but uh, there's still quite a few frigates there. And now Caster is putting quite a bit of pressure on, on land. He's got skirmishers, built to the dragoons. Caster sending heavy fortification now. It's just gonna flex a little bit more. This frigate's gonna go down. Oh, 4 HP. Gonna survive in. Wow. I mean, that's a thousand resources uh, surviving there. 
in here now with the heavy purification card Kaiser is just jumping ahead in score and the monitor in the pond now as well uh, the tower can uh, like two ton of damage versus the stun center it's doing 1.2k per shot Yeah, tons are gonna go down for the for this player. And now I am Chuck is in big trouble. It feels like his economy didn't improve at all for for the past minutes. So he's been sending so much, uh, so many cards on for the sea, but um, Kaiser now having two shipments. Just not sending them right now. Some villagers are going down for Portuguese player. Can they send two organ guns? But uh... uh oh, oh no! Don't do it. Okay, he's not doing it. Some sauce though. So he might clean up the skirmishers. Uh, I mean, there's a monitor here and some dragoons being trained, so not gonna be the case. Give Spain spyglass ability, yeah. Exactly. Yes, Spain now following up with the two factories and uh, got 87 VS in total, he's on 3 times under. Uh, but yeah, Portuguese still have more sea control overall, but I feel like this is kind of a stalemate on water. And uh, I felt like with all these resources, uh, Spain could uh, go for another push. Distance center hasn't been repaired, so it's just gonna go down to the monitor. Oh, yeah, this is going down. I'm Turk, training some hussars, trying to survive on land, but ooh, it's just in time to catch the monitor shot on the organ guns and. Goodbye, rest in peace. And yeah, Kaiser can just uh, retreat to his monitoring the bomb and, uh, and save his skirmishers. What Scientex situation? Um, sending Dragon Combat now and uh, trying to take his warships a little bit further. But yeah, he's uh, quite on food. Still on 73 deals. Uh, I might have missed a raid or something because it feels like his eco is just not improving at all. While on the other hand, Acer is almost max views, he's got two factories and now he can, you know, like send upgrades, send, send unction, eco theory and things like that. H4 skirmishers now. And Turk training some organ guns. I could get a good body though, but monitor. This settler being harassed. Monitor just gonna take down the TC instead. And, uh, and yeah. This is just looking really, really good for Kaiser. Just to be careful though, to not uh, 
loose wall shapes on the water. Oh no, you don't want to do that. <laughs> you don't want to do that. But Kaiser is not paying attention, so he's shooting the hero. Uh oh. This is really risky. Um, but yeah, Kaiser is pushing the top of the map now. Pressing the more villagers, gonna get more villager skill. And it looks like he's uh, doing alright on water as well, and he's controlling three whales. So he's sending rendering plan. So yeah, monitor gonna go down. But yeah. The score is just looking insane for Spain now. More frigates, and uh, I think at some point we're just gonna see Spain going Imperial. He's got the berries upgrade as well for his villages, so they actually gather super fast. Yeah, I don't see what Portuguese can do at this point, really. The docks are going down, so Portuguese is now losing water as well. He's got 50 VLs and no way to train any more warships, and yeah, he's just losing 3 organ guns to the monitor now. GG being called by I am Turk. And Keister is taking this series 4 to 2.